Hey, how's it going guys, JC here. Welcome to episode 110 of the I'm Forward Designer series. I just want to quickly go over what's been happening in the series so far, just to have everything transparent on the table for you guys, so nothing is being hidden here. Last episode, we had a 10 and 0 Renekton game, and then after that, I played, or tried to play Jax, and then it was banned. Trinomir was picked, so I played Malphite, won the game. Then we finally got the Jax game. Played really badly, and I was very silent for most of the game because I was just feeding. So that was a bad time, and I was really tilted. Next game, I played Trinomir, thinking I could untilt by playing my main champion. It doesn't work like that. Um, I was really tilted and just played really bad, made a ton of mistakes for no reason at all. So that was a horrendous like four hour night, just gone like that. And sadly, that was the game that lost us the promo series. So then the next day, I needed to get it back. Played one game, won that, got into our promo series, won the next one. So now we're one win into promos to Diamond 4. So we're back to square one, which was where the 10 and 0 Renekton game was. So hopefully you guys appreciate the honesty and let's jump into it. Okay, sweet, we're in. As voted by you guys, Jack's in the top lane. OP.GG and the runes are on screen right now and we're up against Aatrox in the top lane. So pretty nice matchup, um, no ranged matchups. I was actually going to try Fleet for work with the Resolve secondary against a ranged matchup because I noticed that like, playing these practice games on Jax, I could not seem to do anything about ranged matchups. And the videos that I saw on YouTube, whenever they're facing a ranged matchup, there's always jungle help. So he's aggressing onto, or at least I was watching TF Blade, he was aggressing onto them, like level one, he'll counter strike into the minion wave and hit all of them and hit the enemy so then it'll start pushing then when it bounces back he'll just ask for jungle gank and the jungle just keeps coming after that he'll just push them in and then the jungler will come and dive it's like ah i can't learn too much from that one i mean i can always ping for jungle gank whenever aatrox is pushing into me i can ping the jungler to gank and then when aatrox is low enough and it's diveable i could ping for a dive but i think it mm, i don't know it's not consistent right Solo queue. Okay, so hopefully we do well. I'm just going to commentate all the way through. No tilting, and we're gonna get this underway. Win or lose. Oh, unless MF can see okay. Okay, so what I recognize about win condition is we have to win lane. We have to win lane, take out this tower, and then look for teleport players at bot lane. If not, just roam through mid into dragon. It is a Ocean Drake, so it's not too important, but hopefully the one afterwards would be Infernal Drake, something we can fight over, and that'd be really nice. As for this matchup, I believe you just have to go in after his third Q. So after his third Q, or if you go in before his third Q, make sure you dodge it. So you Q in, and then you start walking behind him, and you dodge it. Surprise! I'm back. Jarvan could level 2 gank, it's possible. Okay, we're back away from the third Q. Yeah, Jarvan could be topside. Let me at him. Oh, rip. So because I know that Jarvan, there's a high chance Jarvan's topside, I'm not going to fight him at the moment. We'll let this push him. His Q just fizzled out, so I could Bring fight him. It's a little bit risky though. He's not using his Qs. It's gone on cooldown again. He's level 3. Okay, we're level 3 as well. It's on. I'm just worried about Jarvan ganking, but he should be bot side by now. Okay, we chunked him down. Honestly, this is so gankable. 
we'll just play back for now because if I go in uh, and his Q's up, uh, we lose. So. so right now we just play back. Wait for the jungler to come. If not, then we just TP back. Oh, we just farm up and then TP back. We outscale Aatrox really hard. I want him to cue the wave though, so that pushes in faster. Okay, Gragas is coming in. That auto attack range though. I was going to get out right after the stun. Mm, damn, I misplayed that one. We'll get Doran's Blade for some early pressure. Jarvan's top side. So if I do fight Aatrox here, Jarvan would come in. Pretty sure Aatrox is just going to back and teleport. But he is missing out on a lot of minions, so that's the good thing for us, it's frozen for us. We'll just let this bounce back. from that. Didn't take too much damage from that exchange. It's on. An enemy has been slain. Damn, he had flash up. Oh no, it's starting. <laughs> Aatrox flash there. I feel like I played too safe early on because I was paranoid that Jarvan was top. But if I played a little more aggressively, I would have had this lane. So that was clearly warded. Bring it on. All right. Well, that's a little something. But well, I'll probably need to get Tabby's as priority right now because I'm behind. Now it's my turn. Okay. So next wave is here. We get to shove this in hard, and then it'll reset. So that's what we want. I feel like if, say, you're kind of new to Jax or you're not very comfortable with Jax, you should pick up Fleet Footwork. Honestly, you just have to get through lane and you become a beast anyway. Fleet Footwork's gonna help you a lot. If you don't fight your opponent that much, uh, you're not gonna proc conquer it. You're basically down a keystone in lane. So that's just my advice. But once you're comfortable with Jax, definitely get conqueror because it's better scaling. Okay, we have our Tiamat here. After that, I really need to start working towards some armor, so... I guess my next teleport, I'm going to have to use it for myself because I'm behind. So he pushes that in, we'll just clear the minions here. Ready for and also the cannon wave that's coming in as well. Then after that we'll do Gromp. Okay. I mean honestly we could fight him there, it's just that he's one level up. Like, once he uses three Qs, he has to just W me and run away. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'll go and get this. Oh, actually, he's gonna instant clear it, eh? Okay, that's all three Qs, so now he has nothing to poke me with. Right, now we can farm. So, we'll just ping that he's missing. Okay, he's over there. Just take out this jungle camp. Barely take any damage too, which is the nice part. So we take this for free. And then we'll just outscale Aatrox slowly. So now we're both the same way. He wasn't expecting the all in there. I just ignored the minions, went straight for him. Let's try to get one tower plating and then we leave. Okay. Javin's here, we'll just leave. I could pick up Phage actually, that's a very good defensive item over Tabby's, so it's like a middle ground. I get tankiness, I get to run at him a lot easier, and I don't have to just go pure defensive. Okay, so 1128 is Aatrox's flash, so it's probably going to come up very soon in like, basically 10 seconds. So we know Aatrox's flash is up. But we have flash as well. So the idea is if we all in and fight him, expect him to flash if he's about to die and then we just predict it with our flash. Okay, hmm. three Qs. Kind of like clockwork, right? Wait for three Qs and then go in. Or the other alternative is just going right away because his first two Qs take a while. I have to be careful right now, I don't know where the jungler is. What I can do is... Oh, okay. It looks like Kiana's coming top. Hmm. Okay, she's going back to mid. I might as well pick up a Gromp here. I just want to outscale him. And then I can play a lot more aggressive later. So let him push in, I guess. Whoa. Uh, this is a bad time to teleport. I'll lose my tower if I do that. He's very killable. Oh! Jeez.
I'll teleport back. Oh god, she missed that. Good teleport by me. So now we go into mid lane and we'll push out for the mid tower. It's always good to keep an eye on teleport opportunities. That's how you really win games. See, if I teleported top, I wouldn't get much other than just help her push. Because the fight was already over. But now we get like this pushed in and we get maybe mid tower if I'm quick enough. Get Ori. Oh. Someone's not happy with Ori's performance. Okay, now we can go to this. Pop another potion, walk a little bit faster. See if there's anything that happens. Looks like. I'll just take this. Okay. Oh, let's go. Wait, why is she angry? Is she about to... 1000 gold off the next item. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go back. We have our Triforce here, this is massive. And then I'll pick up Tabby's next. Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Oh! They do have Fiddlesticks. Hmm. The good thing- the best thing to do about someone that griefs like that is just to ignore them, and then they'll come back. And if they don't, then just report them. But most likely they'll come back if you just don't talk to them. If you talk then they'll just keep typing. We're really far ahead though. Uh, looks like she's back, see? You just have to not type to her. And the whole team knows that, so that's really good. Uh, oh. Okay, so we know that Fiddlesticks is nearby. So we're just going to back away here. Yeah, there he is. Okay! So he's griefing too. Jeez, see, this is the epitome of what I mean by plat elo. Like, plat 1 and diamond 4 is the worst elo possible. Seriously. Like, they, they baby rage. It's like they mixed a few iron 4s into the whole thing. Ow. I guess we'll pop Rift here. May as well. Okay, so one more charge off. We should be fine, we can hang back. This will just charge in no matter what. Um, I, th I don't know, that fiddle sticks was so questionable that I think they're in the same boat. Literally, Fiddlesticks is giving up, MF was giving up, like she's just solo splitting. So anyone can jump over and kill her. Ready for battle. But yeah, this Kiana is like beasting it up, so that's really nice. I can take 
wolves and then I don't have teleport for that. She kind of asked for it though. Let me add up. Right, I'm going to push in mid and then head towards bot. That will be the best play I feel. Okay, so we instant wave clear that. Hmm, Scuttle was up. At least there's no angry MF for that Scuttle this time. That was a quick game. Okay, so we have one more game if we do win, and then we'll be in Diamond. The reason why I'm rushing it through is because there's only a few days left before the season ends, so I really need to just hurry it along. So no matter what happens, I'm just going to try to get these videos out. And then what I'm planning to do is after this series ends, I'm going to be playing on Wushuzilla, and then we're going to have a good time, play some off-meta stuff for the preseason, have some fun. So I kind of miss those days, and I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, be sure to vote down below. Next champion could be an easy one, could be a hard one. We just need one more win. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.